drinking beer on a Sunday And all I want to do is cry Drinking beer on a Sunday If I could stop, I surely would try There's something soothing And grabbing your koozie When you know you gotta snap back So here's everything it comes with This piece This And the tubing it Looks like goes into the gas cylinder The keg and a card, no directions though, so I'll have to go online and see, make sure I put this together right. Um, but that's it. So, um, next step, put it together and install it. So these are the directions, no pictures. If there was anything I would recommend to improve on, it would be that. Okay, I'm outside of my kegerator. So the way this thing works, this is just a stainless steel float that sits on top of your beer. And this goes, so this, your dip tube comes out and this goes in place of it. And this piece of silicone tubing goes onto this and that goes through the float. Right, and then the beer comes in through this side. So I'm going to put this thing together real quick. Um, but that's it. So it's pretty simple. Um, some of the best products usually are just simple. All right, let me get it together. Okay, assuming I put this piece together right, the instructions weren't real clear what that little red O-ring on this part of the dip tube does. Um, it looks like, if you can see here, it's just to prevent this, this piece from sliding out. Right, it's just to catch it. So and it's silicone based, so you could boil it or instead of put it in star sand or do both or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna put it on the other end, but yeah. Instructions don't have any pictures, so that's my best guess what this piece is for. There is another O-ring that goes on the out port, obviously to create a, a liquid tight seal. So but there okay, here it is fully together. So up here, this would be, if you could visualize it, uh, the liquid side of your keg, and then instead of a dip tube going to the bottom, it goes to this thing. Again, this this bubble, the stainless steel bubble, floats on top of your beer, pulling beer from the top clear. I guess it would be more. Um, let me reverse this real quick. Sorry, be more like that. Okay, so that thing would float. Beer, beer would be pulled in from that dip tube, and uh, and then this part, that's your out port. You know, your quick disconnect or your uh, your pin or your ball lock, and then your quick disconnect, then out through your tap. Right. So now I got to take that part back off to put it into my keg, um, and I'm going to do something tricky here. Actually, got a IPA where um, I racked it a little bit quick. I was a little bit impatient, so it's clogged the dip tube. Um, so I'm going to pull that one out and see if I can actually put this into a full uh, full keg. So. Okay, here's my kegerator. Box in my shipment box. Okay, so I'm open it up here, and then pull that back. Okay, so I am going to uh, IPA, this one right here. So this dip tube is clogged. Um, so gas is on, plenty of pressure. But to show you, I didn't bring a glass out. Uh, let me show you real quick. Okay, back. So. This keg, the, oh, oops, this one, red line, red taped line to number one, should be good and clogged, so I'm gonna open that. And yeah, just a couple drips, it's, the dip tube is clogged, right? So I'm gonna replace this one, and just see if, um, see how this thing works, should work just fine. All right, pausing. All right, so obviously I want to vent the gas. Uh, this is a pin lock keg I got cheap. It didn't have a pressure release valve. I could obviously buy one, but whatever. I'm just going to remove the pressure. 10 PSI of pressure there. Okay, that is done. And I'm going to pop the top here. Everybody's probably freaking about uh, ox oxygen spoilage here. I'll try to purge it as best I can with CO2 after I finish this. But 
Uh, at this point, a little bit of oxygen and drinking it quick is better than not drinking it at all. Open this sucker up. Throw in my star sand bucket over here. Try not to drop it. Does it work one-handed? Look at all that. All right, that's gross. Look at all that. All the <laughs> that sucker, I was impatient. And just a ton of troop in this dip tube. Impatience. That is what I get for being... Look at that, that's ridiculous. Pull that out. I'm not putting this back in here, so I'm just going to blow it out just to show you guys. Oh, got the plug right there. Some in the driveway, but yeah, I mean, that thing was just full. So, set this dip tube off. Find a way to designate it back to the right keg. Okay, so I've got this piece, and this is going in now. So, this is going to be super tricky. Sanitized hand, I guess. For lack of any other way to do this. This is going to be super tricky with this thing on. Okay, well, I'm going to have to turn this off to do it, but I'm going to drop the sucker in here. And then connect this. Connect the... This end. Into the port right there. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, doing this in a full keg, probably ill-advised. Uh, you could drop any number of pieces here and uh, you'd be hosed. Uh, but anyway, so I basically just had to disconnect the silicone tube down there from the uh, the dip, the mini dip tube. And then reconnect it down in there like that. Um, so obviously sanitation concerns too probably. But that thing just floats like a bobber, like a fishing bobber. So that uh, 90 degree elbow with the hole in it is under there and that sucker's just floating in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna close it up, purge it a little bit and see if it fixed my okay, problem. Okay, reconnected. I purged it five times. Uh, I'd be curious how I purge it without, uh, without uh, you know, one of, one of these on there. Uh, I just take this off and press down on the, uh, the pressure release valve and just vent it. So it's a little bit of pain in the butt, but whatever. So, okay. So again, red, red tape line to this keg previously clogged, uh, 10 PSI of pressure. Grab my glass over here. HA glass, red line. There we go. Working. Working, working. I'm going to dump that one because it's just old beer line. But there we go. All right. It's a product review. It's a success. I bought mine, uh, just to wrap up here, uh, I bought mine from uh, Midwest Brewers. Um, I'm not partial to any one vendor versus another vendor. Uh, I did it because they had a special going and I had to buy a bunch of other stuff and I spent so much money they threw in a free car boy and free shipping. So anyway, so I bought it from them. Uh, it was 50 bucks. I have seen it on Williams Brewing for 45. Uh, so go ahead and shop around. Um, but yeah, seems to work. Um, so there we go. Pulling beer from the top. Cool. So yeah, nice product. If you like that price point, probably uh, something worth checking out. Okay, see you guys next time. Drinking beer on a Sunday, and all I want to do is cry. Drinking beer on a Sunday, if I could stop, I should have tried.